The famous evangelist D.L. Moody once said, The best way to show that a stick is crooked is not to argue about it, but to lay a straight stick alongside it. That seems like a clever way to compare truth with error. A crooked stick? Straight stick? Oh, I get it. For Christians, the Bible is a straight stick. In the Mormon 8th Article of Faith, it says, The Bible is the Word of God as far as it is translated correctly. By that, we mean that the Bible has been tampered with by man, and many plain and precious things have been altered or removed from it. So we don't believe that the Bible is a reliable measure of truth. Then let me ask you, why do you still use the King James Version of the Bible while believing that it has been compromised? After all, the Latter-day Saints do have another choice. What's that? The Joseph Smith New Translation, also known as the Inspired Version of the Bible. The problem is, I don't believe Joseph Smith ever finished his Inspired Version. In the preface of the first edition to the JST, it says, As concerning the manner of translation and correction, it is evident, from the manuscripts and the testimony of those who were conversant with the facts, that it was done by direct revelation from God. It was begun in June 1830 and was finished by July 3, 1833. So, if it was finished through direct revelation, why would the Latter-day Saints use a supposedly polluted and defiled version of the Bible over it? I'm not sure. I believe that God is more than capable of keeping His written word intact and has foreseen that there would be such criticism of His word from others. Would you read from the King James Version, Psalm 12, 6, and 7? The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Now let's look at 1 Peter 1, 24, 25. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Those are promises from God that he has kept. The fact that our current Bibles are reliable and accurate come from many other sources, such as archaeology, fulfilled prophecies, the Dead Sea Scrolls, and other historical evidence. Some, however, would rather believe in a crooked stick rather than research it for themselves. One last point. Did you know that even the Book of Mormon itself contradicts the Mormon belief in an untrustworthy Bible? Where is that in the Book of Mormon? The introduction to the 1981 printing of the Book of Mormon states, The Book of Mormon is a volume of Holy Scripture comparable to the Bible. It is a record of God's dealings with the ancient inhabitants of the Americas and contains, as does the Bible, the fullness of the everlasting gospel. In my 2013 printing, it leaves out, as does the Bible and says that only the Book of Mormon has the fullness of the everlasting gospel. Why did they make that change in the Book of Mormon? That's the first time I've heard of that. I'll have to look into it. The Bible is a weapon that Satan has no defense for. Obviously, it is Satan who would like to cast a suspicious and unfavorable light upon it in order to keep people from the truth, the truth that could set them free. The writer of Hebrews put it this way, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So, like the two-edged sword, the word of God is a straight stick. Don't forget to tap that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming episodes. Did you know we have a website? Go to TalkingToMormons.com where you can view and read all our articles and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Check out the description below to learn more.